Jared Goff has been adopted as Detroit's native son. Not good enough for you? Well, he's good enough for us. Led him to the NFC title game in nearly a Super Bowl a year ago. The new campaign starts on a winning note thanks to an overtime victory and a drive, again, led by Goff. Not just winning, but making you some money. Printing it in week ones in his career has covered all eight tries. Tuck this one away for next September. <laughs> yeah, Jamo? Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, that, that little double move we had kind of getting ready all week, and um, he smoked him on it and laid it out there for him, made a great catch, and uh, a couple big plays from him all night. He did a great job. Yeah, I don't know if they were doing anything in particular. I think uh, the theme of tonight kind of, we just kind of kept shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit, uh, certainly offensively. Just, you know, we had we had some plays there that um, we could have had, and, and uh, I got to be better with the cadence for our guys and um, be a little smoother there on the operational stuff. And uh, that alone would solve a lot of problems tonight that we had, but uh, it just wasn't our smoothest. But a win's a win. We got to be happy about it. How long was that overtime drive? Yeah, it was good. Just hand it to Demo. Man, that battering ram. Just hand it to him, and, and he did the rest. It was fun. It was fun watching him um, kind of catch that second win there in that overtime and our O-line the same way. And then I was joking with him when we call, after, like, we called the play on the one-yard line, and it was like, this is scoring. Like, we didn't – there was no doubt. And um, punched it in. It was great. Right, Dan, you said, you know, Dan was saying, is it a little bit of rest? Guys had not played none in the, in the preseason at all. I mean, obviously, track practices, but – is week one, is it a little rusty to start shaking out a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, there, there's certainly things that were below our standard. Um, but, yeah, it, some of the operational stuff is, is ultimately my, my job, and um, it wasn't good enough. Ulti good enough for a win, wasn't good enough for our standard. One more on David. Dan said the other day, like, um, his ability to set a tone at the beginning of the game, mm -hmm. running, close it out. Yeah, man, he's our tone setter. He's a, he's a leader. He's he's uh, the guy when the game's on the line, we want to find him. You remember last year in the playoff game, we threw it to him on the, I think first or second down there. So, um, man, he's as, as valuable to our team as anybody. Yeah, yeah, it was a tough sequence for us. Uh, stalled out a couple times. I throw the pick, almost throw another one, and then we get the punt off and. Um, Defense gets a stop, and then we go down and get the field goal. So yeah, we we bounced back nicely. It was it was nice to see that. Um, ultimately, we did enough to win the game, and it, it does feel good. Before the game began, did you feel like that's how you guys could win it, just hammering it as opposed to throwing a lot in overtime? Uh, yeah, you never know. It, it was uh, it was what we wanted to do there at the end. I, I don't know. We throw it twice there and, and on that drive. So yeah, I, as soon as one of those runs pops with him, you kind of just kind of come back to the well and see if we can get it again. You know, the maturity's long been there, but it seems like a growing confidence in his role as a franchise quarterback as the years have passed here for Jared Goff. Look at your quarterback comparison. Goff, 18 of 28 for the 217. Didn't need to do a whole lot with the arm in overtime, and you could tell by that wry smile out of Dan Campbell after the coin toss was won. They were taken to the ground and taking the W ultimately.